John Kitna said, My life isn't good because I'm a football player. I'm a football player because my life is good. Jesus Christ has made my life good. His grace and his forgiveness have changed me. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, the impact he has on the world, and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode number 71. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and to begin to live your life according to his word and his will. That's what it is all about. Our Just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is Matthew sixteen twenty five which reads, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from Katrina LeMay Dawn. She said, There's a peace in my life And I know that Jesus is a part of everything I do, on or off the ice. My focus has changed, knowing that I don't have to worry about results. It really becomes simple. I put in the training and technically I know what to do. Then I just go out and skate as well as I can and leave the rest up to the Lord. That's the attitude I took with me. I know that no matter how well I do, Jesus will be there for me. Though it is great to win, I know it's my relationship with Jesus that gives me true significance. He loves me, brings joy to my life, and gives me peace. With him, my life is truly fulfilled. Holy Father God, Lord, the words are endless, The sentences are endless. We cannot even put what you do for us in words and what you have done for us in words. Words just can't do the job. Maybe one day when we get to heaven, we'll be able to express to you exactly how we truly feel about what you've done for us and what you're doing in us. It is truly amazing, Lord Jesus, what you have done for us and in our lives. All I can say in my feeble way is that I give you glory, praise, and honor. In Jesus Christ's name I pray and for his sake. Amen. Dear friend, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, 
the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply call their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, the way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to God, to heaven, to all of these other blessings? Allow me to show you how. First, dear friend, accept the fact that you are a sinner. Acknowledge that. You have broken God's commandments. You know you have, and I have too. Because of that, there is a punishment for sin. The Bible says the wages, the payment for sin, is death. We die physically because of sin, and that's a tragedy. But we also die spiritually because of sin, and that's worse than a tragedy. And so, therefore, we need a Savior. Jesus Christ came into the world as the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world. His blood was shed, and he willingly died for our sins so that we can look to him and be saved. In fact, the Lord Jesus Christ said in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart today in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live forever with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today to save your soul, and he will. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, please remember at the end of the day only one thing matters, and that's Jesus, just Jesus and nothing else. God bless you.